Okay, so preheat your oven to 400 degrees and also boil two cups of water for the noodles. Okay, so while the oven is preheating and I have boiling water, I'm gonna go ahead and make my garlic bread. So I have here some room temperature butter. I'm just gonna add garlic powder, oregano, Italian seasoning, and grated cheese, Parmesan grated cheese. So just go ahead and mix all the seasoning into the room temperature butter. Now if you guys don't like Italian seasoning or oregano, you guys don't have to use that. You guys could use onion powder instead of garlic powder. Okay, now take a slice of bread and spread the butter generously, just like this. Now, you guys could use any type of loaf of bread. It could be French bread, any bread will work for this recipe. Okay, so I've decided that I wanted to add more Parmesan cheese, a little bit more of the oregano and the Italian seasoning. You know, you guys could also add grated cheese. It would taste really good with garlic bread. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges are like golden brown and crispy and then they're ready. So let's go ahead and move on with the noodles. All right, now my water is boiling and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my noodles. And it says here for the cooking directions, I'm gonna cook the noodles for three minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now, you guys don't have to use instant noodles. You guys could use fettuccine pasta. You guys don't have fettuccine pasta. You guys could use penne pasta, spaghetti pasta, whichever you guys like. But because this is a hack, we're going to try instant noodles. Okay, so after three minutes, your noodles should look like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drain this and set this to the side. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next step of this recipe. Okay, so for the chicken, I am gonna use these crispy chicken strips. Now the great thing about this is that the chicken is already breaded and seasoned. And because of that, you don't have to clean a lot of mess in the kitchen. If you would have to bread this, the flour all over the counter, it is just ready to be cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake some chicken strips it's a good size you could also microwave it or deep fry it the instructions are in the back of the packaging okay so over low and medium heat we're gonna go ahead and heat up some cooking oil I'm just gonna go ahead and fry or saute some fresh garlic okay guys so here's a little tip I'm sure most of you guys already know, but for the people that don't know, to test out if the oil is hot enough, just drop a piece of garlic in there. And if it sizzles, that means the oil is hot enough. All right, so over low heat, I'm just gonna go ahead and saute some fresh garlic. Now, if you guys like garlic, you guys could put as much garlic as you want. If you guys don't like garlic, then you guys don't have to really saute a lot of garlic. I personally love garlic. I like the smell of it. I like what it does to the recipes that I cook. So once the garlic is about, I say the color like golden brown or lightly brown, then it's ready. Okie dokie. So my garlic looks fine. Now I am going to add the jarred Alfredo sauce together with the garlic. Okay, now my garlic looks good. I am gonna go ahead and add some Bertoli garlic alfredo sauce. You could use any brand that you guys prefer or you can even make your own alfredo sauce, whichever you prefer. Okay, so there's still alfredo sauce in the jar and it's hard to get out. So what I like to do is take some evaporated milk and pour some in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shake it and this will help some of the sauce to easily come out of the jar instead of using water I use evaporated milk 
Then I'm going to add some Kraft grated Parmesan cheese in my sauce. This is a really easy, delicious chicken alfredo recipe. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it with the sauce. Now, if you guys try this recipe, please let me know how it goes. Also, if you guys want to ask any suggestions, how you guys make your own chicken alfredo sauce, let me know in the comment section. Also, may I add that this is also a great dipping sauce for the garlic bread. Then I'm going to add some oregano, Italian seasoning into the uh, Alfredo sauce. And I will list all the ingredients I've used for this recipe in the description box. So just go ahead and take a look at that. Just give it a good mix over low heat. Now, if you guys don't like a lot of oregano or Italian seasoning, you guys don't have to put that much. Or if you guys don't like it, you don't have to put it in there. This is how I make my chicken alfredo sauce and it tastes really good. One thing that I also like to do is I like to slice the chicken and mix it into the Alfredo sauce. This will help the chicken stay tender and soft and also I'll add more flavor to the chicken because of all that seasoning that I put in the Alfredo sauce. Over low medium heat, I'm just gonna wait for the sauce to simmer. Again, I guarantee you guys, this recipe is so delicious. It is easy to make. You can make this at home. You could cook for yourself. And if you guys do try this out, please let me know how it goes in the comments. Okay, guys. So this is how I make this fast, easy, quick, and simple recipe, yet very delicious chicken alfredo. If you like these type of recipes, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye.